Good afternoon, my dear students. So, today I am teaching chapter number 6, Life Processes from class 10. And the topic we have taken is diffusion of oxygen and carbon dioxide in alveoli. In the last lecture, we have seen the mechanism of breathing. Now, we will be learning about how in the blind sac alveoli, the exchange of these gases takes place. So, let us draw a diagram. This was, this is alveoli and as told earlier alveoli is covered with blood capillaries so these are the blood capillaries okay so you know the blood vessels they contain what they contain the medium blood and in the blood we have got rbcs so if i consider making the rbcs so this can be the rbcs rbcs are by concave in structure. So this is the RBC. Your RBC is having red pigment which is known as respiratory pigment known as hemoglobin. So this hemoglobin molecule carries the oxygen. So through the trachea, through the bronchioles and the bronchus, it ends into the alveolar side. And here the entry of oxygen gas is taking place. So this O2 is being taken up by the hemoglobin molecule present inside the RBC and once this oxygen molecule is combining with hemoglobin, what it is forming? It is forming the compound known as oxyhemoglobin. And this oxyhemoglobin will move to the other parts of the body. What are the other parts? To the different cells. So, if considered, we are drawing a cell here. That means, this cell has done the respiration. This cell has done the respiration. And what was the product being formed? The product was the CO2. So, what happens? This CO2 is inside this cell. Now, through the blood vessel, what is coming? What is coming inside? The oxyhemoglobin molecule. So once it enters the cell, it sees that there is carbon dioxide. So what happens? It breaks down and gives oxygen inside the cell and it takes back the carbon dioxide. So the same hemoglobin molecule will return back but this time it will be carrying what? It will be carrying carbon dioxide here. So, with the partial pressure of the CO2 and the oxygen, what will happen? This CO2 will be released inside the alveoli and it will be moved out. So, at a time, there is always a residual volume of air inside the lung so that the there is sufficient time for absorption and release of the carbon dioxide gas so that the lungs do not collapse. So this is a very important question for the board exam. They asked, is there any residual volume of air present inside the, sun, inside the lung? And if it is present, what is the purpose of it? So this was the diffusion of oxygen and CO2 in alveoli. Students, please go through the diagram, go through the lecture, the, go through the topic given in your NCRT. We have finished the nutrition topic and respiration. Respiration in plants, respiration in animals. Now, the next topic we'll be taking up in our lecture will be your transportation. Transportation in plants separately and transportation in animals separately. In animals, you have learned it about as circulatory system. So, we'll be learning about the human heart and its circulation. So, students, please go through this topic and uh, Stay at home, be safe, study regularly and uh, hope so. We'll fight off with this uh, COVID virus and uh, we'll meet in the school and discuss the queries. Thank you students.